Hi everyone, and welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. So excited to share with you a really cool flip animation. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to take a simple card, flip it on its side, and use some really cool Swift animations. If you wanted how Swift UI animations work and how to do a simple card flip like this, come on in and I'll show you how. So let me give you a quick overview of how this animation works and then we'll build it from scratch together after. What you see here is actually two views alternating and rotating 90 degrees forward and back, one taking over from the other when it hits 90 degrees. So the first thing to understand with these animations is how do you actually construct an animation like this? And in this case, it's actually two views that are flipping 90 degrees forwards and back depending upon when you tap them. They just happen to be overlaid in a Z stack on top of each other like this. So what you see here, for example, is our suit club fill. This is the red club here. And basically this is the front of the card. This is one view we've got in our Swift UI app. The second one down here, card back, is basically just a series of rectangles with some designs. That's the second view we've got down here. And then we bring these together in our content view, just like this. This is actually just a Z stack with these two views over top of each other. I'm just gonna hold them like this. But then all we do on that tap gesture is we rotate them plus or minus 90 degrees with the animation staggered so that when one rotates 90 degrees, the other one is already there. It takes over and it rotates that last 90, which gives that seamless transition from one view to the other. So it's actually two views in a Z stack rotating 90 degrees. The magic that makes it all happen right here is basically twofold. One, we have to tap the card to generate an event to change the state. That's what's going on with this tap gesture here. And in flip card, remember in Swift UI, everything is state driven. We change the state of is flipped and we track the degrees of rotation for each animation. So basically with each animation, we change the back and front degree, which is passed into our views up here. And that's what we bind to here. That's how it animates as it's rotating. We're actually binding to that degree here. We're rotating at plus of 90 degrees. And the animation that makes it all happen is this one right here, rotation 3D effect. This is really cool. What we're actually doing by adding this animation to the end of our Z stack is we're saying rotate this about the Y axis. That's why you see a one here, plus or minus 90 degrees. That's how we're getting the animation on each one of these views. We're adding it here to the front of the card. We're adding a similar one to the back. And then down here in card flip, when we change the state of that Boolean and we flip it, by simply changing the degree of the rotation to be either 90 or zero, and then staggering those with a delay of um, a couple seconds. Here we go, duration and delay. That's how we get them to kind of sync and go forward and back together. Two views rotating 90 degrees, working as one. So that's it. That in a nutshell is how this animation works. If you wanna see how to construct this from scratch, Join me and let's create a brand new project. Okay, for those of you who want to follow along with the text version of this walkthrough, head on over to the Swift UI repo here under jrasmussen, github.com, jrasmussen, Swift UI. And if you just search for the word animation and go command G, you'll see a couple different links in there. The one I'm going to go to here is card flip. And if you just wanna copy and paste and save some time, I'm just gonna walk you through kind of how we can go about building this from scratch and making it all happen. All right, so let's fire up Xcode. Let's create a brand new app. This of course will be a Swift UI app. I <laughs> call it uh, card flip two because I've already got a directory there. And let's go ahead and start building this from scratch. So if you've got that repo or sorry, that, that page of the text already open up, Go ahead and scroll down to where it says uh, card back and let's just go view, let's just start from scratch and build each one of these views up so we can see what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this card back text here 
I'm gonna come on back over to our app, and in here, I'm gonna make a little bit of room, Option, Command, Return, let's go like this, and I'm just gonna replace the contents of what we have in here with the back of the card. So this is the first view, it's just the back of the card that we've got. I'm not gonna do all the little fancy things in there, I just want you to see that this is basically just a rounded rectangle, made blue, with a specific frame size that we're gonna pass in for height and width. And then down here in our content view, that's all we're gonna do, height and width, body, and we're just gonna instantiate this card back, put it in a Z stack, and let's see what that looks like. So if we run this, we can see that all we've done here is created a simple view, some blue rectangles, that's the back of our card. All right, next let's look at the front. Okay, for the front, I'm just gonna scroll down here in the text notes to where it says card front. I'm just gonna copy that code and text. I'll just grab the front of the card. I'm gonna put it in here. And you can see this is just gonna be our suit. And instead of card back down here, I'll go card front. And if we run this, you should see that this is actually gonna be the other side of our card, the one with the red club here. And that's just the first thing to understanding. There's actually two views here, a front and a back, and they're gonna be sitting on top of each other. We're gonna put those in a Z stack. Now let's see how we can take these two views, combine them together, and add the animation. Okay, to demo this, I'm actually gonna copy in the full source code. So if you go to the very top and you go to content view and you just copy that, that's the full working demo. I'm just gonna come in here and drop that in and then set that up so that you can see what actually happens when these animations occur. So what you'll see that's different now is we've added a binding to this double var here. This is gonna be on each of our cards, our front and our back. And here we've added that rotation 3D effect. We're gonna to bind to this degree. We're gonna rotate about the Y axis when a change of state occurs. Very, very important. So that's how we're gonna do that for the front. We're gonna do the same thing in the back, add a double. Here I've added a few more ripples to make the card look nice. And here we're adding the same 3D effect, rotating about the Y axis. Now the way we're gonna trigger all this is we're actually gonna track some state. So in our content view, we've got three new variables here, one for the back card degree, one for the front card degree, and one to keep track of whether or not the card is flipped, along with a variable here called duration and delay. So the way we're gonna build this now is we're gonna go down to our Z stack, we're gonna add the front card, the back card, that tap gesture, and then we're gonna do the flip. Now to show you what happens, I'm gonna animate each of these kind of one at a time so you can see what's going on. First, I'm just gonna comment out the front degree rotation. So I'm gonna comment out this with animation here. And that's the other part that occurs when we call with animation, this is an explicit animation which is gonna change the state of this back degree and that's what's gonna give us our animating of that double forward and back. Now if we run this, let's just see what we get. All we should see here now is the back card animating. Here it is. And you can see that it's just a 90 degree rotation up to this point. Well, I can't get it to come back, but hopefully you can see, I'll just run it again here. I just want you to visually see the card starts off with a full face. You tap it once, it's a 90 degree rotation, not 180. That's one thing that might be a bit confusing. It's just 90. But we do the same rotation for the front with an offset and a duration of a delay, also 90, and that's what lets us go back card to this, and then front card, which is sitting like this, completes the animation like this. That's what's going on with these animations. So when we flip the card, we change the state of is flipped, that's a local state right within the content view itself, we then change this, the value of this back and forward degree to either be plus or minus 90. And that is what goes ahead and does the rotation with this 3D effect in each card. And that's kind of it. It's a really beautiful, nice little effect. It's something that is really good to kind of see and appreciate because it's 
a little bit different than what we do in UIKit where an event happens and then we say go ahead and do the animation. Here we just go in here and there's a ton of really nice affordances that Swift UI's built into here for us that we're not even really observing. We just take, take for granted. For example, notice when that card rotates, it comes up at the top and everything is, all the perspective is maintained. When it's going from forward to back, it's making the edge come out of the camera a little bit and make it look like it's coming towards you. And it's making that back edge go further back so it looks like it's, it's not quite as close. It's doing all this for us, a really nice effect. And that is how the card flip works. Okay, so there you have it, folks. That's the card flip. Let's just go over a few key points. The first thing to remember when working with Swift UI is that everything is state driven. This is the biggest learning for me as I get more and more into Swift UI. I have to reprogram my brain and remember. I'm not telling the app what to do explicitly like we do in UIKit. Here, if I want to change anything in my view, I have to do it through a change of state. That's the first thing to really drive home. Nothing with happens without changing the state. Secondly, when we change the state, we really do it here by capturing tap gestures. So it often starts off with an event that's firing. We change the state and we've already got the animation set up to react to that state and that's what you see here. Again, just a little bit of a different flow to go in here working with Swift UI versus UI Kit. And that's really just the crux of it. Stop thinking about doing animations like we would in UI Kit, and here you're more just setting them up. You're setting up your views with animations so when that change of state occurs, these really nice things naturally happen. And that's it. Hope you found that useful. Do download this, play with it, work with it from scratch. And um, before you know it, in no time, you'll be coming up with some really nice animations of your own looking just like this. All right. Thanks so much for coming, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.